Guys, today we are going to talk about very important matters. The reason why I am continuously accumulating more Bitcoin with time. Guys, this is a video you will not want to miss. We're talking about Bitcoin on shorter or longer time frames, traditional markets as well. So welcome back everybody. My name is Cristiano bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Let's dive straight into it, guys. So on the four hourly time frame, not much has changed yesterday. So we're still trending sideways. We are still, you know, uh, trying to break through the, uh, well, right now, the $43,800 level. But the big one is, of course, up here at $45,000. So the good thing is that, you know, we're going sideways. We're at least not, you know, very strongly trending down here. We're going sideways. So maybe this is the calm before we have another big try towards the $45,000 level. But as you know, the $45,000 level is very important. It is heavy resistance in the $45,000 level. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about the Lux Algo and if it told us to get out right here. Well, it didn't. So this is the Lux Algo. Let me flip it on. So since giving us the buy signal right here, down here, gave us the buy signal at $37,500, since it gave us the buy signal, a lot of people, you know, were prepared to get out of their Bitcoin position because they were anticipating the Lux Algo to um, give us a sell signal. And that is the wrong way to do it, by the way. I mean, uh, the Lux Algo should be treated as a, uh, you know, one of the tools you're using when trading. So as you know, I tend to not want to get into Bitcoin when it is at massive resistance. So, I mean, let's say we got a buy right here. I would still not get into the, uh, to the Bitcoin price right here at this level because we are right at resistance. The same thing right here. If it is giving you a sell right at massive support, I would not get out of the Lux Algo. But nonetheless, I mean, it gave us the buy signal right here. It's still holding us strong here. It's still telling us to stay in that trade. And uh, when we do see a sell signal on the Lux Algo, I am going going to uh, give you that information as well. So that's the four hourly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we have something very important to talk about as well. Not only are we still above this very important uh, level right here. So this was previous resistance now turned into support. So this is something we uh, keep watching, of course. Also, what we keep watching is the 20 EMA, which is right now at 40, well, $46,000 currently. So this has proven to be big resistance previously. So this is something we will need to watch. If we're able to break through this, that is a very, very good sign for Bitcoin. But I want to show you something else and I want to bring out the RSI because what you can see here on the RSI is something really interesting. Now I want to draw a trend line. I want to draw it from the bottom here. I want to draw it from this bottom and connect it to this bottom. So what you can see on the RSI is that whenever we get into very low territory here, it usually signals a short-term bottom. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, it's just going to stop there. It's not going to go down lower because as you can see right here, we were at a low level right here. I mean, uh, it's pretty hard to see, but we were at the low level and the Bitcoin price still went down a tiny little bit more and forming an even lower low. But my point is that whenever we are in this vicinity in the RSI of this trend line, uh, we do see short-term bottoms in general. Look at this. This was also a short-term bottom right here, this massive capitulation candle during the COVID crash. Also, right here, of course, we are seeing a, a connection here to the trend line. So this is something to pay attention to. And whenever, let's say if we break down from this trend line and we go to, I don't know, even lower levels here, okay, the Bitcoin price, mean, it means that the Bitcoin price is going down. That's why the RSI is going down. But it also means that we are approaching territory in which we've seen massive buying opportunities in the past. So like right here, okay, massive buying opportunity, like right here, massive buying opportunity. And maybe, maybe even this one right here, massive buying opportunity at $30,000. We will see guys, but I will keep you updated regarding this. I do think it is important to pay attention to. Now, the reason why I am accumulating Bitcoin every single day, it's been shown more and more with what's going on right now. So in Canada, they are right now, due to the protests and stuff, they are telling banks to seize people's money. The, the money that people have been earning, the money that people have been working for, this guy is telling uh, the banks to not 
give people their hard-earned money. Now, I'm not going to dive into the politics side of things. I'm just going to say that whenever someone is telling the banks to seize money, whenever banks are not allowing people to uh, get their own money out of the banks, it is creating more crypto people. It's just this wildfire that is going to spread throughout time. And the more of this that's going on, we are going to create more and more people entering the crypto space. So it's all about the long run, guys. So with no need for court orders, banks can freeze personal accounts of anyone linked with the protests. So let's talk about the protests because critics have noted that the prime minister voiced support for farmers in India who blocked major highways to New Delhi for a year in 2021, saying at the time, Canada will always be there to defend the right of peaceful protests. But now when it is going on in their own country, this guy does not want to allow it. So you just see the hypocrisy here. And yeah, just like I said, for every instance that this is going to happen, and this is happening not only in Canada, it's happened in Lebanon, it's happening all around the world. And whenever this happens, we are creating more people who are entering into the crypto space. Look at this. The amount of outages uh, with the banks in Canada right now reported in the last 24 hours. Massive outages on all of these banks. So this is not a coincidence, guys. Is this the banks trying to prevent people from withdrawing their money? Probably. Or is it just a lot of people trying to withdraw money and the uh, servers of the banks could just not handle it. Maybe that could also be the case. Either way, it's bullish for Bitcoin because either it shows us that a lot of people are withdrawing money and looking for alternative ways uh, as opposed to the banks, or it is the banks trying to prevent people from withdrawing money. And uh, that is why they're reporting outages. And uh, yeah, in that case, of course, for every single people who are not able to withdraw here, they're also going to look for alternative ways to, um, yeah, to still be able to transact and transfer money. So guys, that's what I got for you today. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I will see you in the next one.